This is Twit. This uh, Z-Wave, 100 million Z-Wave <laughs> oh, devices yeah, that are going to be so. hackable. If we're all freaked out about it, just calm, calm down, folks. Calm the F down. Um, so what this, what this is, it's, it's a rehash of a hack that was in 2013. And I think again, in 2016, we all discussed this and we're like, ah, so in April of 2017, the Z-Wave Alliance introduced a new concept called S2 security. So what this new hack does is it rolls back your S2 security to S0, which is the one that was hacked in 13 oh. and 16. Now, a couple things to know about it. The hack itself is pretty tough. You've got to be within Z-Wave range, which is like Z-Wave range? Z-Wave range. You've got to be within so, Z-Wave range. Okay. So, yeah, you've got to be really close. Okay. And then you've got a very limited amount of time to catch... Much like if you're going trying to hack someone's uh, Wi-Fi by sitting outside and trying to uh, get their credentials and then cracking the credentials, this is a similar effort. So you've got to be close. You've got to catch a, a – it's not exactly a handoff, but you've got to catch that. Then you can, in a secure S2 device, roll it back to S0 and try to hack it. But – if you have S2 security on a device, it will actually notify the users when it, that security gets rolled back to S0. So the one thing that you might want to worry about, again, if you have someone who's really technically savvy trying to hack your particular door locks, is that not a lot of devices out on the market actually use S2 security yet. Oh, okay. August locks do, but not like a lot of smart home hubs don't. There's about 15 of them with S2, but some of the big ones like Wink and Smart Things don't yet. So that's kind of all you should really know about that. I have a lot of Z-Wave stuff. I'll just tell you, I'm not really worried. If you want to come in and break in my door locks, you're so, it's going to be so much easier just to break a window than right, to hack right, my. Right, right. This and is an issue if like you're. Again, the if your argument, hotel uses it. Oh, yeah, that would be an issue. Absolutely. But this is but the a lot argument. But hotels for, use Bluetooth. You should only have, if you're going to have an automatic door lock, you should get one that is automatically updated. And presumably, would this, this would be software fixable, I presume? Mm, this particular thing, I don't think it's software fixable. It's a uh, fundamental, it is a fundamental flaw in Z-Wave. And yes, the Z-Wave Alliance does say that this was a conscious decision that they made that this should be allowed. Okay. I imagine it has to do with backwards compatibility because they're okay. really sticklers about that. But, and again, S0 is the same. To hack at the S0 level, you have to be in physical proximity to the device. You have to have the same quick reaction, like quick grab of the handoff. So, mm -hmm. again, there's a lot of easier ways from an individual level. If it's at a corporate or like a hotel, like a, a larger target, maybe it makes sense. So, but an individual, I wouldn't stress it. Thank you for the clarification. Steve Gibson How's agrees that? with you. We talked about it yesterday as well.